Hey guys, welcome to another video. For the playthrough, if you guys have not watched the previous part, please click the link up here to go watch the previous part. Otherwise, this part may not make too much sense. As always, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for your support. And let's enjoy the playthrough. Okay, so there's... Hey, what's up, dudes? We kill? Hey, you guys got it. Yeah, you guys got it. You guys are fine. <laughs> okay, so this... I got up on it a little while ago. Oh, I didn't make it? Okay. I need to I think I need to jump. I don't think I jumped. Boing. So if I zappy zap this. Okay, it turns it. Nice. Okay. Which we, now I can shoot this. And it takes me up. Which then lets me make it. Oh jeez. Why is that thing zapping? Oh man. Because I have to so I'm I imagine I have to turn it while we're in the air then. Nailed it. Okay, so now I need to make a key. Oh, I have enough to make two keys. Cool. All right. Ta-da! Broadhead arrows. Do broadhead arrows do more damage? So broadhead arrows. Highly damaging arrows for body shots. Deals a great amount of damage. Not good for damaging weak spots. Um, I think... I think... Look, look at this! Look! A gang fight! Oh my god! You guys are freaking whooping up on these guys. You bet I'm gonna just pick up the loots after this. <laughs> I had this tasty burger all set up and ready to order. Okay. I'm just gonna run down there and pick up the pick up the stuff. I don't even care who wins. Before I could order it, they closed, so when I went to finalize it was like not Oh man, that sucks. Hit him! There's two of you and one of him! Just hit him! What do you mean, question mark? Oh, he charges him? Nice. I bet, dude. This tasty burger all set up and ready to order. Are you not helping? Oh, he's the guard and he's the gatherer. Oh, okay. Um, buddy, your friend is not winning here. I'm gonna run down and grab the loot and then take off. Look at this. Doll rock. Oh, he's gonna attack me, isn't he? Oh, there's more stuff in the wall there? At least 30 minutes? That's not terrible. Where were we? Were we waited for like, I felt like over an hour for our food to get to- Were we in- Were we in Vegas? Yeah, Mungus. Yeah, yeah, we'll- like, there's traffic. We can literally see you, yeah. So there was this lady in, we were in Vegas, and we had ordered some food. Oh man, I need to get my freaking slingshot out. Um, and we had ordered some, I don't remember what, well, what we ordered. Just, it, it's irrelevant, um, what we ordered. But she was like, she was taking forever, and we were so hungry. We were on, we were on like vacation, but we were like, I think we were at like an abs conference. And we were like watching this lady like pretty much drive circles and she kept saying like oh it's traffic but like we could tell like she was like picking up other people's orders and taking it to them or like picking up people and taking them where they wanted to go until she like got closer to us to bring us our food and we were like what the heck like and so she, she's like oh it was it was traffic I'm, like we can literally see you and we can literally look at google maps to see what's busy all right gary what's up dude I went into the out to do what Amon would have done, to learn and seek. It doesn't work like that. The out is dangerous. I bet you had to defend yourself plenty of times. Yes, but despite the trimmers in these clips, we were determined to make it work, and you should be too. So you see all these trees, like, knocked over and shit? Like, things are just falling apart. We need your help now more than ever, fortifying our houses and cleaning up. Yeah, from your we should get off the cliff. There are other options. Yeah, Gary, stay here and help us out. It has no use. The island is much bigger than this cliff, and the humans before I knew that. Start with Ian. He has been asking for you ever since you left. I will go see him. I'm gonna go see Ian, but you guys are literally falling on us, living in a space that is falling apart. Like, we need, we need to get off of here. Hey, are you Ian? Oh. Oh. Huh. 
Ew. You are unscathed. I'm fine. The owl is teaching me so much. The owl is too dangerous for us. With like a, did you see the typo? Like the TH, the the, wasn't, the T wasn't capitalized. Some of it's dangerous, but there are people in the owl. Help me. They're going to help us. Well, they point me in the right direction. I think there must be a place we can live somewhere. We cannot live among those creatures. We would not survive, Hugh. We've always been here, and the life on the cliff will find a way, but we haven't always been here. I told you, Amon and I found we are defenseless against those large creatures. You've seen them too from the cliffside, no? Yes, and now up close. Some of them are not happy with us humans, but some are helpful. In fact, they helped me find a place called a vault in which I discovered humans had been there before. That's where I found this outfinding, which could help us defend ourselves better and learn the ways of humans before us. It looks very interesting. It looks dangerous. What are they doing to you, Hugh? You seem different. I am. They are showing me there is more than this dangerous cliff. Not this nonsense. Put away that dangerous object and come help us here. There is so much to do. I think he might be onto something. We cannot resort to these ridiculous options. We need to put our strengths where it matters. Very wanted to see you too if you haven't already. I'm glad you're back to help us. Okay, so I guess I go talk to Ian. You startled me. Hello, Ian. Gary told me to come find you. I want to help you. I believe these cliffs will not hold us much longer. I believe so too. So I went into that cavern that you mentioned to Marlon Gary, and one of the contraptions there inspired me. I am surely not as brave as you, but maybe you can use this elevator as a shortcut into the owl. One day we can follow you. I am beseeching Mother to keep you safe. Thank you, Ian. This is fantastic. I wish I had your courage. You're just like your brother. Who is dead. Thanks for mentioning him. We can... Whee! Use Ian's elevator to get off the unstable cliffs. Okay, I did it. Here I am. Some of them seem open to leaving the cliff. Nydia, Iam, I will need to overturn the others. If we leave, we should do it together. I need to find another vault to see what the humans before us did, and perhaps another outfinding will help us further. The Tombas will probably know how to get inside. Is it the Tomba house? Okay. Tombas, here I come. Alright, Tombas, help me out. What you guys got going on here? Oh, look. Oh, look, it's all of them. There are four of you? I was betting it's going to take him at least a good few days to connect the dots. Welcome back, Hugh. I would offer you to sit down, but there are no chairs left. We need to visit us. Now that you are mingling with Albemarle's politics, powerful chiefs have been knocking on our doors. Oh. They're not happy, Hugh. Not happy. Why are they not happy? The chiefs are reminded of a time long forgotten and wouldn't be too happy with you leaving the unstable cliffs. Why? Probably not here because you were having a jolly good time up there. But, as always, we have a way to help you. If you help us, of course. You're probably looking to get into another vault. I bet that newfound device of yours helps convincing the other simpletons up that cliff. Well, the chief of Albemarle aren't that happy with you poking around in the vaults, so they want to lock them down more securely. And, neutral as we are, or appear to be, they entrust us with holding the key to the vaults. Nice. These guys are going to give me a key to the vaults. We need to get into the vault, but we have what you need, but we need you too. I wanted to ask you about a strange image and insignia I found inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this. That, that's, that's what we found on the walls there. Yeah, look at that. As expected, our narratives align. That is exactly what we need each other for. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cut scene. He walks clawed the markings. Maybe. Your arrival here reminded us of our unfinished research on the event commonly known as the Blunder, one in which not only humans, but all tribes had a big role. That's the symbol I found. What does it mean? It is related to a great conflict on Albemarle, one that we decided to miss out on. Our home is in the soggy woodlands, was in trouble, and everything got a bit too hot under our feet, which left a big gap in our giant collective catalog of knowledge. The others do not speak much about it. Apparently, it wasn't a great time to be around. Perhaps you will have more luck. We know that humans were involved, but we do not know how. The other species hold the answers. All of them have knowledge about a specific part of the blunder, and we hope to string it together. With you acting as our missing link, the litters, for example, who come from the fields, they seem dirty and helpless, but there is more to them than meets the eye. The Fexels are famous hustlers coming from the Wedgwoods. They will sense that you need valuable information only to challenge you on anything they know they are good at. The crockers are the shamanistic hunters of the woodlands. The crockers are the alligators. Or I guess the crocodiles. <laughs> you will need to earn their respect if they are to share anything with you. The caribans are a sage mountain folk. Oh, look at Look, we get a close-up of what they look like. They're like little little koala bears. They're kind of cute. It's 
often about a lot more brute force when it comes to it. The gobble do from the dunes, which are the birds, won't even address us or you. We are not high class enough. Their vanity is the key to what they know. Weird looking little choppers. <laughs> you might be the perfect figure to approach all of them. You're new, interesting, and you seem to get what you need. This seems like a lot. Yeah, it does. You can tackle this in any way in order you like. Best of luck. So I have to be friends with all of them? The Talmudists have introduced peace, treaty, and written insult on Albemarle. This knowledge will start circulating through the village trader groups. Whenever such treaties are traded, the two trading factions greatly improve or worsen their relationships. Get out of here. Okay. Let's investigate the events surrounding it. So now I have to do like a bunch of research. Oh, look, there's all kinds of new stuff up here. Oh, do I not have these? I definitely have these. Why are they back? What the heck? Okay, so now I have to investigate the events surrounding the blunder, which we still don't know what that means. Okay, well, I guess I look at this stuff, huh? The litters are simple folk, but phenomenal at organizing. They say that the litters have hidden all their information to the blunder away with an ancient king deep inside the large cavern they originated from. You might have found its entrance already, but the secret to finding the information lies a bit deeper. Apparently, you need to be in a certain state through a resource called... Rulika? I haven't found it yet, but there's a monument near the Litter Cave that should tell you how to get the king's secret ways of getting it. For some reason, they left a trail of spittle sockets near it to find the monument. It's all bonkers, but that's how they are. All that trail and you get the information soon enough. Good luck. Okay... So I gotta do so now I'm gonna have to do a quest associated with all four or five of these tribes. Oh man, so this is the that's the one I just got, and those guys are not my friends. <laughs> like at all. Crockers, which are the alligators, they they scare the living puffle out of us. Puffles. Puffles are the little blue guys. They demand respect with their enormous posture and aggressive behavior. This species has grown into the impressive beasts they are. All from the comfort of their humid shores. They are proud to be warriors and have a famous initiation process for young crockers too. Us Thomas are now be able to get far with them apart from trivial trading. Luckily there is one ancient crocker shaman who has been able to converse with us as he values knowledge, albeit of the more supernatural kind. It's important you perform their initiation ritual, which you do by taking and showing the high shaman some blood berries from their initiation cave. The old crocker resides in one of the towers in the soggy woodlands. I should mark both on your map. Good luck. The trial of the war. So I think I have to be friends with everybody now, don't I? This is going to take a really long time, isn't it? You betcha. Well, we got lots of donations. <laughs> yeah, dude. What does that mean? Okay, let's see. The Fexels, which are the foxes. Very pleasant to converse with, but you have to be careful with every sentence. Legend has it they arrived on Elbomare on beautifully crafted boats. They were in search of a place to safely work on their bombs, explosives, and alchemy. The larger the crater, the larger the crater you see in their capital village is the result of their early experiments. The best way to get information is through the business partner of ours, someone we barely trust, but can get the job done. Sh Schnusky? Fuck. <laughs> Schnusky? Find a little fellow, but be careful. If I do get to hustle you, remember this. Let them bet on something and they'll listen. Let them bet on something. Yeah, I know. All of, all of, the, all of these are going to be like that. Alright, so what's this? The god will do which are the birds. They dawn from the warm shades and the dunes. They evolve from an older species after losing the ability to fly. They've always treated us as low-class inhabitants of Elvamere and anyone else for that matter. Their arrogance makes them mostly unapproachable. This is a shame, as they are knowledgeable and have the strongest historical preservation of all. You, Hugh, might be a perfect candidate to approach them. You're new and interesting, and more importantly, you can still pretend to be someone else, something that hasn't worked for us, Tombas. Craft a pearl necklace and present yourself as a human prince. This will make them talk to you. A prince? Just use that word. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, let me, let me, let me do it, let me do it. The Carablins, which are the people that I'm already friends with, 
One of the older species on the island, unfortunately, they know that too. They always attempt to teach everyone a lesson. The Tombas can't stand it, but I managed to bond with an exiled Caribbean sage. Bren, Bren, what is with these names, dude? <laughs> Lives in the mountains. And attempts to retrieve information. Brenner usually says that the answer will come in due time, which is highly aggravating. Perhaps here you have more patience than we do. The sage seems to know everything about their history, but hasn't let go of it yet. He seems to want to appear very wise, but does not always succeed in doing so. Please go see Brenner. I'll mark his house on your map. Wow, so we have so many freaking quests now.